it felt like we were coming back from a, an extended summer holiday and, uh, and starting a new year of school. Um, and, and we just love each other. I mean, it really is a genuinely uh, connected group of people who enjoy each other's company all the time. JJ sets a tone of, uh, of such respect and uh, such levity in, in, in the process of making the movie and promoting the movie. And, uh, and we're so fortunate to get to travel around and, uh, and see all these different cities together. And uh, it's, it's really a special time. I think none of us take it for granted, you know? Uh, we had this actually kind of amazing moment on, on one of the red carpets earlier on in the tour where we were all just standing there and, uh, and I think it was you that was like, uh, I'll always remember this time when people actually care, you know? <laughs> people gave a, people yeah, gave a bleep. Gave a bleep. On the first film we'd all become friends and in the inter intervening years we'd stayed in touch and, and had this wonderful round robin of emails that we would go out generally at Christmas. Mm -hmm. Uh, featuring images of Klingon sex. Um, you think I'm joking. Uh, so to get back to, to all together again was wonderful because it was like, you know, it's like after the summer break, getting back for the second year at school when you have all those great friends you want to see again. So it was wonderful. They, they are terrific. I mean, the whole, the whole cast is great. They, they, everyone gets along really well. It, it, last year, uh, not last year, um, the, the feels like last year. Um, on the first film, we, um, we all, you know, I think we had a, a great time working together, but then we went um, on the, the press tour, and it was really great, because that was when everyone was completely together, because when you're making a movie, you're always sort of split up in different groups, and, uh, and it was really clear that, that that group, that team, they just love each other. They really are like a family. There oftentimes seem to be more cameras offset. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Offset capturing everything that we did. Um, no, you know, in fact, Zachary and I live nearby one another in Los Angeles, as is John and, and Zoe, and uh, so we get a chance to see one another uh, a great deal. And that, you know, that is, I think, JJ's real talent above and beyond the many other things he does so well, is the fact that he cast it um, brilliantly in that we all do get along. And if you're going to put, if you're going to put a family on screen, uh, it certainly makes sense to, to, to um, Create those bonds, you know, off screen. So that uh, he has an innate awareness, I think, of people's energy and the dynamics that he needs to create in order to uh, m tell the story that he wants to tell. And uh, we didn't necessarily know that going in, but uh, once we got there, it became abundantly clear for sure that he had he had done something more than cast roles. You know, he brought people's lives together. And the penny dropped for me on the second movie when I realized that. These are people who will be in my life forever, you know. Uh, whether or not we make any more Star Trek movies, or we, we just friends, or you know, we collaborate in other ways, uh, these relationships are significant and profound uh, for all of us. I think it was it was always fun to watch uh, when people were there with Benedict because Benedict has got this incredible presence, and it was a funny thing because whenever there were scenes with him, his voice, uh, his voice is is ridiculous. Uh, but everyone kind of just like, you know. Their backs were a little bit straighter. They were just, more low. you know, it was just, it was funny watching them all work to, together with him. I, I had to build up a lot, and that was a bit peculiar. At one point, eating 4,000 calories for like near a month. That's an inhumanly large amount of food to eat, quite literally, inhumanly. Um, it's almost impossible and not pleasant and morally kind of wrong. But um, it was, it, it was necessary to make this a little bit more like this, which hopefully it, it looks like in the movie. Um, you know, we we all work out a lot when we're getting ready to do the movie and while we're doing the movie and. Uh, Chris eats about four chick grown chickens a day, <laughs> um, and uh, I eat three. <laughs> eat a lot of burgers, a lot of fries, <laughs> before you go for a run. <laughs> Re yeah, we do have to be relatively fit, relative to athletes, uh, which is, uh, sometimes is uh, is hard work. But it's nice to have a, it's nice to have an excuse to get fit. You know, I think the biggest thing with people in their daily life about keeping fit is finding the time to do it. Right. If it actually has to be figured into your daily routine, it's a little easier. And yeah, we both had to be fit. We both had to do mm -hmm. a hot, a sprinting in this movie, and sprinting really takes it out of you. So um, a lot of training, a lot of running up and down the steps in Santa Monica, a lot of going to the gym, a lot of eating good food. But there's a, in LA, it's easy to do that. There's a, there's a culture of health and fitness in LA which you can tap into. I'd like to go back to a young me sitting watching Star Trek every day at six o'clock on BBC Two and sit down next to him and say, I don't want to freak you out or anything, but you're going to be in that one day because it's awesome. I met Jimmy Doohan before I knew I was going to be Scotty, uh, my, the original Scotty, and I wish I'd known then that I was going to take on his mantle, you know. Uh, I'm always thinking that. 
about it. Don't you think you, could, mm. you think we should go back to yourself when you well, were yeah. little? Yeah. And say you're going to be in Lord of the Rings, you're going to be in Star Trek, you're going to be in Judge Dredd. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you, you, uh, you, you'd you like to uh, give yourself a little bit of counsel about what not to do. Right. <laughs> you know, but I guess yeah. that's, that's how you learn, isn't it? I'd probably say, you know, what were you thinking about your hair? Um, let's be honest. Am I still a hunk? <laughs> what a really awfully weird word to <laughs> hunk. Hunk of what? It just huh. sounds not cool. Hunk of cheese. What a hunk. The Scotty sex scene yeah, it will probably. definitely make the next film. It better. Because by, by the fourth film, it's not going to happen. It's not